Huh. What is this? A new GoPros in America video. Uploading now. Oh, I wanna try this. Oh, shoot. Darn it. And today I have an idea. An idea that I've had around my mind for a little bit. You've probably seen it in the title, but I have gathered around some, um, just some items, and I am going to be putting all these together to make a, um, like a redneck trailer or a shenanigan hauler or whatever. But I'll be using this trailer, uh, just for anything. I mean, I can. If I really wanted to, I could put it up to my goat car, or I could put it on my knee scooter, and I'll go, like, throw a pack of water bottles on it, or whatever. And so, what I will be doing is I'm going to take the axle off of the dolly. I'm going to be taking these uh, bike bar mounts off. I'm going to use this as a floor. I'm going to be chopping this off and putting it either here or there and making a uh, hitch. So let's get into it. First things first, let's work on our frame, our body, our foundation. So we're going to be taking these off and we are going to be chopping that right there. And then we will figure out how to add on that axle. And then we're going to weld that, weld that on, and we're going to cut all these off. Uh, first, let's get into this. Okay, so now that we got these brackets off, we can now chop this, and then we can clean up surfaces right here to weld. <laughs> So we just chopped that piece off. Now let's get it, let's get um, a different wheel on the grinder and make it clean. All right, now that we got this piece cut off, we've made that flat and we've made that mostly flat. Now we need to cut pieces off here and then we need to sand some uh, material down there so we can have nice clean welds for this. Now that we got our metal all cleaned up and a spot for the ground, we can now weld all of these in. And it won't be pretty because I can't really get my uh, all this paint clean, but we can get this all done. And let's get start welding. Okay, so our welder is on the lightest setting possible. Let's get burning some nickels. I think that's gonna be pretty good. They're not the prettiest welds, but they work. All right, let's figure out an axle. All right, now this dolly, what we need to do is we need to cut these cotter pins and then we can take these wheels off and then we can somehow weld or do whatever and get this shaft to this. And I think this might be galvanized, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Okay, as you can see, it's a little more dark outside. It's because I had to go to Ace Hardware and get um, a new rod because the other rod was too short. And if we ever needed our dolly again, I can just take these wheels off and put them back on our dolly so we can use our dolly again. So... We got a three feet piece 
And now we need to drill holes and cut to length. And then we need to find our axle position. And then we can weld this in. And then we can weld this bar on. And we will have a trailer. All right, now that we got one hole drilled, and we know where we need to uh, cut it, we're going to cut it, and then we are going to drill it. So I'll show you how you, we do that. And the reason why people use a punch to um, is to make a small indent into the steel so a drill bit can nicely go through and it can guide. So on this round surface, if I didn't have a um, punch and I punched it, then the drill bit could like roll off of the um, steel. And now we have a nice clean cut. We'll just sand that down. Then we can put our axle on. So I gave myself a half an inch um, in total. So I can have my wheel move back and forth if it needs to. And I didn't want to um, ruin a $14 piece of solid steel. Even though that's not a m much for other people. It's still... This is all on a budget. This is all trash that I found from our backyard. And I'm putting it together to make something that works. So what I am doing, so now I need to figure out an axle position that will be good enough for it to work. Okay, so after some consideration and thinking, I think um, I'm going to weld the axle under, completely under. Um, the options were like this. Or like this, and it's basically on the ground. Or I could have welded some something to hold it in the middle, and that would have been practical. Cool. So I've decided just to stick with that. stick with having the. Um, axle on the very bottom. Alright, let's weld her in. Sodded. Alright, so I've got most of this tacked and welded in. I just need to finish the rest. Oh shoot. Darn it! I forgot to measure each side. So what I did is I messed up. I forgot to measure each side and I centered it up this way and this way, but I forgot to center it up this and this way. So what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to put some more pipe on the end and weld it on. And then I'm gonna have to drill the hole right here. And it's just a pain, my gosh. I'm gonna have to weld that there. And just hope it works well. Cause I screwed up. Okay, so I got a little piece. I'm gonna tack it. And then I'm going to measure it, and then I'm going to weld it. My 
My mistake has been fixed. Now let's grind it so the wheel can go on. Oh, I'm so stupid for doing that. So the mistake I did was I measured from here to here and I was thinking about the placement of the axle so much that I forgot to measure between here and here on both sides. So when I welded it all in, I realized that this side was quite a bit shorter than that side. So what I did was I took some more of the metal and what I did was I um, put a hard edge on it so weld could, so I put a hard edge on it so weld could fill the gap between here and the rest of that so it'd hold there but then I'd also clean the weld off so the tire can go over it. And if you look really hard, it's a little bit smaller, but it works good enough for the wheel here to slide on. And what I've also done is I filled in the old pin, the old hole with weld and I had the new piece have a hole drilled in it. So let's flip this over and see what I can, see how I'm gonna attach a hitch. Okay, so I got this notch cut out for the um, hitch and I'm going to grind that clean and center it up and tack it. So let's get into it. Okay, so now that I got this piece welded in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a whatever that size is hole into here. And this is going to be our pivot up and down. And then I'm going to drill the same hole right here. And that's going to be our pivot left to right. Alright, so I got my piece cut. And what this, and this, what this piece is going to go do is it's gonna slide in here like that and then this is gonna go in at the same time as this and then it's gonna be a pin and then I'm gonna do the same thing um, to whatever I'm doing most likely my knee scooter but whatever I am putting it on I'm going to do that and so I will come back to you when I figure out how I'm gonna do this okay so now I have got these pins and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this through and I'll attach it like this and then I'm gonna get some round stock and I'm gonna weld it onto the end of this uh, pin here and I don't know why I drilled that hole I was Thinking I'd put a rod through and that'd be it. But I got some round uh, tubing that this will fit over. So I'm going to weld that on. And this will be my pin. Alright, so I got these pins made. And this one, I did get, do good welds. And this one, uh, the tip kind of got clogged up so the gas didn't come out nice. So that one I had to sand down a little bit. But this is how it's going to go. I'm going to put that right there and that piece of tube on the end. And it's going to look something like this. Not as high, but yeah. So all I really need to do is take... Actually, this piece is perfect. And I weld it onto like my knee scooter or something. I just have to drill a hole through here. And then um, all I have to do is just put this on top and then put a pin through yeah that was really hot let me go get my knee scooter over here and I will weld on that piece and then we'll test this thing out okay so I welded it on there the top that was a little persos whatever um there's holes in the weld um but I realized that I 
have it at too much of an angle and I welded it all in. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to make a pie cut right there. I'm gonna bend that, uh, bend it down and then uh, I'm gonna paint it, go eat some food and then I'm going to do a f fitment of everything. Okay, so we got our nice little pie cut done and it actually looks pretty nice. So now let's weld her in. Okay, so I um I just finished the trailer and I painted the frame of the knee scooter. This is how it looks. That's actually really cool. The attachment points like this. That's sick. Dude, this thing. Let's try her out. Alright, that wraps it up for now. Please like and subscribe. I will catch you later. Thank you for watching. You're amazing. I wonder if. I wonder if. Oh! <laughs>